Rule one, leverage best of breed from the modern data stack. In the past, companies were choose to settle for good enough technology, usually from a single vendor, one-stop shop, because the early days, the technologies were proprietary and closed. The cloud has changed all of that, allowing you to choose best of breed components, whether it's from data ingestion, to storage, to compute, to analytics, to machine learning. And in the decade of data, every iota of innovation matters. Large enterprises have to manage that transition from on-premises to cloud. But for startups, you get to choose your best of breed tech stack from the beginning. That's exactly what John Hughes, Chief Strategy Officer at The Modern Milkman has done. Tell us a little bit about your modern data stack and some of the decisions why you landed on the technology that you have invested in. So to do that, I'd have to go back to 2019. So 2019, we've got a database. I've got a key skill. My key skill was not just spreadsheets, Google Sheets in particular, and Google Apps Scripts, which is, is kind of like the old visual basic for applications that existed in Excel, but it was for Google. It plugged into a lot of Google APIs, so I could, and, and also it had, if you could manage it enough, you could start to make other API calls as well. So I could like load things into MailChimp, et cetera. I built way too much dependency on app scripts. I was doing a lot of data transformation because Google app script had this scheduling tool that I didn't have access to. And I was able to take the really rubbish data that we had in our transactional database and turn it into something more meaningful through a series of transformations that ran on schedules and could communicate with me but via and firing me emails if something broke. It's very basic, but we, you know, you had no money. That's how you get around it. We raised series A. The first thing that I did is I took some money and I spent it on Snowflake. It's the daddy when it comes to data warehousing, I think. Or, know, or they would say um, they bristle at the word data warehousing now. So they would just say the data cloud. Was that because you were seeing the momentum in the marketplace or is it skills availability or particular features why you invested in Snowflake? So I went to some people that had run big, big BI teams and I said, how did you do it? What did you pick? And if you had your time again, what would you do now? They said, we, we pick this, we pick that or whatever. But if we had my time again, I'd pick Snowflake. Right. <laughs> and I asked like four or five different people across different business verticals. Yeah. I created my own data set effectively. And, um, a hundred percent of it said, if I had my time again, I'd pick Snowflake. That was fine. Then for like, for analysis, um, we had existing talent that had used Tableau before. So that kind of became quite a simple decision. We went with what we had at the time because it meant, it meant we wouldn't necessarily have to hire more people. We could use the people that we already had. And there's always like in a startup like ours, one of the biggest execution risks is, is your hiring. You've got to get key hires, right? And on top of that, um, we added in another tool, which was retool. Now retool is a low code platform. Essentially we were using it to basically help us with extra data. So a lot of our data was sitting outside of the environment. So we, we were able to quickly build apps in retool to push more data into the, mo into our model effectively. So that might be supply side data, that might be marketing data, et cetera. And we used, we used it like that. Where we've got to now, we've moved over to ThoughtSpot recently. And one of the reasons for that is because we want data to permeate all parts of the business. And we found that the query structure of, of ThoughtSpot, the way that it set up behind the scenes would help us to do that. The thing that loads stuff into Snowflake as well is a tool called Cleave. Basically that does a lot of behind the scenes busyness. Um, it, they're based in the UK, in London. Um, great set of guys that have run big BI sales before and essentially set up a business to solve their own problem. 